Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name is Ken. Today's experiment is the deflated balloon. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is a two liter bottle, water, and a balloon. To set up this experiment, you start off filling a two liter bottle of water all the way to the brim, so all the way to the top, and then place a balloon over the top of it, not uh, filled, just, just like that, deflated. And then you're going to take a nail and you're going to poke a hole in the bottom of the two liter bottle. Some water will come out so you have a dish underneath it. And then start giving a pull up and down on the balloon um, a number of times. And it will create a little bit of pressure and, and suddenly it will invert into the bottle. So just keep pulling it up and down and there it goes just like that. When the deflated balloon is placed over the bottle, the air pressure acting on it pushes into the bottle. This is because that any water that leads through the hole creates a vacuum in the space above the water. Air can thrust enter the space that the water formerly occupied. Since the air pressure is greater on the outside of the bottle than the inside of the bottle, the air is pushed into the bottle, not sucked. However, there is always a little bit of air still left in the bottle because you cannot remove all the air. Initially, very little water will flow out of the hole since it's only a small amount of air in the space in the water. By pulling up on the balloon, the water will flow immediately increase since the air in the bottle will expand to fill the greater volume, causing the exert of less pressure. When the balloon is allowed to snap back into the bottle, it momentarily compresses the air in the bottle, causing it to exert more pressure and force the water out of the hole. When air is blown into the inverted balloon, it serves to compress the air already in the bottle, causing it to exert greater pressure and force the water out of the hole. The same effect can be observed by poking at the balloon with your finger. If the bottle itself is squeezed, the balloon will inflate and be forced out of the bottle. The water also will be forced out of the hole. This is another way to compress the air in the bottle by reducing its volume. The air exerts greater pressure causing the balloon to inflate. The water is also forced out of the hole. This experiment serves as a good validation of Boyle's law which states as the volume of gas decreases it pressure increases and vice versa. I hope you enjoyed this experiment. Remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe. Thanks for watching.